Hello and welcome to Picture Astrology. In this quick snap video, we will learn about placement of Rahu in the seventh house of the horoscope. And as you know, seventh house is the house of marriage, relationship, business partnership. And being one of the Kendra houses plays a very important role in a person's individual or personal life as well as professional life. So we will try to analyze some of the key practical aspect of this placement of Rahu. Now Rahu in 7th house is one position which can bring about Rahuan characteristics a lot and with prominence in a personality. And one of the basic reason for that is see 7th house is a Kendra or Cardinal house and as we have seen in our Kendradipati Dosh video, cardinal houses, especially the 4, 7 and 10th houses, these are the houses which shows great energy transformation. And even in more uh, uh, the daytime, you will see these times represents situations where energy transformation happen in nature also. See, 7th house is the time when evening happens, which means day is slowly transitioning into a night which basically means a sort of energy transformation happening in the nature so because of this this kendra or cardinal houses are always given a higher energy points in typical vedic astrology 4 7 and 10th are supposed to be the strongest of the houses and the energy of these houses increases meaning from 4 to 7 to 10 the energy will go higher and higher and higher and 7th house also being right across the first leaves a big imprint of Rahuian characteristics on your horoscope. So what are the characteristics of Rahu? We have seen in my previous videos in the Rahu Ketu series especially how to judge Rahu and Ketu and what are Rahu and Ketu? You know, those two videos you will refer a lot in this. And that is that Rahu is all about brain, which is mind and senses, which means it gives an extremely sensual nature to Rahu. And when this Rahu is placed in such an energetic position, this behavior really stood out, you know. So this can no doubt make a person really, really passionate about life in general and now this passion can exhibit in multiple different ways and those ways will depend upon the promise of the horoscope remember Rahu and Ketu primarily acts as catalyst or accelerator for the promise of the horoscope but definitely this passionate nature can manifest in you know too much love for food People with this placement can be very gluttonous and that can lead to a lot of problems like diabetes or other abdominal related issues. See, seventh house is your abdominal. So issues related to that are represented by Rahu in this placement of seventh house. Similarly, the, the patient nature can also manifest in terms of excess of physical or sexual nature. And because of that also, issues can arise now in women's chart especially seventh house shows your reproductive systems so with this placement of saturn especially the area around your womb if there are any further affliction to this that could become a problematic area now since seventh house is closely related to professional success as well and it is also the house of professional partnership or business partnerships. So with this placement of Rahu, if the 10th Lord, the Lord of 10th house, which shows professional success, if Lord of 10th house and 10th house itself has strong placement, then this Rahu can show a lot of travel. See, seventh house shows travel. It can show a lot of overseas or long distance travel and it also shows business or professional relationship with people 
of very different culture than your own and if the 11th lord is also strong then those partnership can prove to be very very fruitful however this is rahu remember so even a slightest malefic influence can give up and down in that business relationship so it is imperative to check any contributing influences on the rahu's placement but in many ways 7th house rahu is associated with sudden gains or sometimes sudden and unexpected issues as well you know issues which you never force are coming and which can take some time before those issues are solved now good thing or bad thing about issues arising from rahu is that they have a tendency to you know disappear or resolve in similar manner in which they come to fore meaning meaning issues can crop up suddenly in your life you know when you least expected it um and the reason could remain elusive it gives you a lot of pain can leave you confused about you know how to solve them but they would suddenly disappear on their own or in a similar way you know you least expected it to come up and when you least expected it to go away it can simply go away and the extent to which these issues can harm you or give you trouble would definitely depend on the promise of the horoscope now seventh house is also the house of marriage and in romantic relationship and that passionate nature of rahu which we discussed in the beginning really manifest in this area as well and rahu is you know is anything foreign so if there is association of seventh lord or venus or jupiter with rahu as well then people with this placement tend to get attract or romantically associated with rahu like people rahu like people meaning people very different from their cultural religious or geographical location or background now remember as i said this rahu alone gives passionate nature but it is the placement of lord of seventh house or venus or jupiter which dictate how that passionate nature will manifest in married life and i have personally seen many horoscope with rahu in seventh house with great married life and committed to partners and equally i have seen rahu here with other malefic influence having some or the other kind of issues with relationships so friend this was my quick analysis of rahu in seventh house i will try to come up with example of horoscopes with this placement because that can give a clear picture about how to analyze influences on this rahu and come to precise and pinpoint predictions but for now thank you for watching and being with me and i hope to see you again soon bye bye